Today I'm gonna reveal my four top secret places to sell your placer gold to get the most cash. Now the first place you can sell your gold is to cash buyers. Now cash buyers are usually set up with an agreement between the person selling the gold and the person buying the gold. And all that means is that it's usually some type of a, a brokerage company or it can even be an auction house. But usually on those types of deals, you're gonna get less in return on your gold than you normally would from the other three places I'm about to tell you. And the reason that is is because they wanna get the gold as fast as possible and you want that money as fast as possible. So usually you're only gonna get about 80% on your spot, which is not that good. But if you're in a hurry to get cash, that's one way to do it. Now on the other side of the coin, auction houses can be fantastic if you have really rare or very large nuggets to sell. And when I'm talking large nuggets, you know what I'm talking about. One ounce and above because of the rarity so in that regards yeah auction houses would be a good place to go but for the regular miner out there that only has about an ounce or two of fines and flakes I wouldn't even consider it now the next one I would recommend is refineries we love selling our gold to refineries and there's a reason why not only because it's really easy to send your gold into them and then there's a set price that they're gonna pay you but some places they don't have a minimum requirement so you can send in maybe a gram or two, or maybe 10 grams, 20 grams, they don't have a set limit. Now, most refineries will charge you fees, but we found one place that doesn't charge any fees whatsoever, and that place is Midwest Refineries. Midwest Refinery will pay you 95% spot on your 24 karat gold. Now, keep in mind that gold is never pure when it comes out of the ground. It's always alloyed with some other minerals like silver, zinc, lead, copper, things of this nature. So you're never gonna have pure gold. Most placer gold out there's anywhere from 18 to 21 karat, which means it's 60 to 80, 85% pure gold based on where you got it from. So if you're lucky and you live in Australia, you can get what, 93% purity. But here in Nevada, you're lucky to get somewhere between 72, 75% purity because we have a lot of silver mixed in with our gold because we live in an area where we have epithermal deposits. So you have what's called electrum and that is at least 30% silver alloyed in with your gold. The price of gold today is $1,966 per ounce, which comes out to about $63 per gram. But for sake of conversation, we're just gonna round it to $2,000 per ounce. But if I send in one ounce of gold to a refinery and I'm expecting $2,000 back on my one ounce of gold, I'm not gonna get that. Because what they're gonna do is they're gonna factor out the silver and say, well, even though you gave us an ounce of gold, there's not an ounce of pure gold here. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's up to you to make sure that you do your math and that you understand what you're sending into the refinery. That's why we always stress that if you can, take what placer gold you wanna send in and try to refine it down so you already know pretty much what you're getting. Now, I know a lot of people don't have a foundry at home and they don't have time to be smelting and it's easier just to send it in. But try to calculate what you got before you send it in so when you get your check, you're not sitting there wondering what the heck happened. Now, the nice thing about Midwest refineries that we found out was that there was no processing fees. It's a flat 95% on 20 24 karat that's it and the nice thing is if you have under three ounces of gold they just buy it outright they don't even assay it now some refineries will actually let you pool your gold which means that you can keep the gold there and then you can wait until gold prices go up before you cash in you see how that works so if you're sitting there like you know what I don't want to cash out right now you wait a month or two because you think gold is gonna go up which it is then you say you know what I'm ready to cash out you can do that there's a lot of refineries out there that would do that so you have to do your research now, one more thing I wanna add about Midwest refineries is they accept any type of gold. It doesn't matter if it's placer or if it's nugget or if it's shavings or filings, it doesn't matter. And that's one of the reasons why we like going with them so much is because they've been around forever and they accept everything. All right, now the next place that you can sell your gold at, your placer gold, is on eBay. Now this is a double-edged sword for a lot of folks. Now you can sell it outright just in small quantities and you gotta set up an account and you gotta deal with people and it can be a hassle or you can sell it as pay dirt. A lot of people out there who come in contact with a lot of placer gold, they create their own pay dirt. So they sell it that way. And that can be a profitable business for you if you have enough reserves of placer gold. And people have done it. And in fact, we do it too. Whenever we get enough, we sell it in our store for our patrons. And you can have little tiny auctions on it to where you can increase the value of it. So that is another viable way for you to sell your placer gold. 
And that leads me into my fourth way to sell your plaster gold. That is through companies like Gold Hog. If you're not familiar with Gold Hog, Gold Hog has been around forever. And the guys that run it over there are super great people. They're very knowledgeable. And they've been selling gold mining equipment exclusively to the small scale miners for decades. I highly recommend them. And they pay 85% spot on plaster gold. They don't even do a refinery test. They just say, send it in. We'll give you 85% spot on your plaster gold. And that's a really good deal. Now there are other places like Gold Fever Prospecting and Natural Gold Prospecting. Those are other places that claim that they'll buy your plaster gold. I haven't dealt with them personally, but they also have good return on your percentage of pure gold. Now I get a lot of folks out there that say, Jeff, I got a lot of black sand. I don't know what to do with it. I know it's got gold in it, but I don't have the time to try to get it out. What do I do with it? Well, I've got the answer. That would be a company called TCB Metals and Refinery. Now the way that they pay out is on a tier system, but I decided to let you know that they accept black sands. They'll actually process it for you. And lastly, never, ever, ever, ever sell your gold to a pawn shop. I guarantee you're only gonna get about 50% on that. They ain't gonna give you nothing. They're gonna try to make as much money off of you as possible. And they're also gonna tell you if you bring gold nuggets in there, that gold nuggets don't fetch a premium. No, that's just a myth that somebody made up. Trust me, I've heard it personally. So they'll lie right to your face and give you a very low price on some nuggets that are worth far above spot price. Now, speaking of nuggets, that brings me to the next part of this conversation. And that is, if you've got nuggets, don't melt them down. Don't don't send them into a refinery, okay? Hold on to them. Maybe you can find a jewelry shop that will buy them for you above spot. There's a lot of heated debate out there as to what actually constitutes a nugget. Anything that does not pass through a number eight screen is a nugget, according to us. Screen your gold out, get the fines, send those into refinery or send them in to any one of these places that I just mentioned to cash in. Hold on to your gold nuggets, especially your specimen gold and your dendritic gold. That will actually fetch a higher premium than spot price. And don't you let nobody tell you different. Now, when you go to package up your gold and send it off to be sold, make sure you insure it and get a tracking number on it, okay? Because uh, yeah, gold has been known to disappear in the mail. Now, if any of you guys out there know of a better place to sell your gold, go ahead and leave it down in the comments because I'm sure we'd all like to know so we can get the best deal for all of our hard-earned placer gold. And I'm gonna leave all the links to everything I said down below in the description so that you guys can take advantage of this when you go to sell your gold. And don't forget, at the end of the month, we're giving away tons of these silver bars, bags of pay dirt, and we're giving away gold nuggets and specimen gold. So if you're not a premium patron already, go ahead and sign up now because it's the best time to be one, I'm telling you. All you gotta do is look for this link, click it and make a $10 pledge and you're good to go. And if you like videos on geology and you wanna learn more so you can find more placer gold, go ahead and watch that video. I guarantee it'll learn you real good like. <laughs>